What's going on YouTube? This is Dre the Plug coming at you guys live with some more technical heat. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can stay up to date as far as all of the technical heat that I drop. A few disclaimers I want to jump into before jumping into my new video is the fact that I want to just give a shout out to everybody that participated in my interviewing videos and my quarantine IT slash engineering videos and actually came together and participated and helped make the footage with me. I just want to give a shout out to all y'all. Man, in the future, I'm going to actually get another 15 people and really just do the whole thing over in a few months because I got so much positive feedback. So many people on Instagram was like, man, this person helped me. This person actually said something that really just triggered something like, man, I reached out to this person after you posted them and mentioned their Instagram. I ended up linking with this person. I just love the way that the connection really, really just clicked. So I, I'm going to definitely continue to do this and kind of put this kind of in my routine of the technical heat, man. But in this video right here, I'm basically going to show you guys the absolute basics of electricity because so many people always message me, always hit me up and always say, what made you want to jump into doing electrical engineering? And on top of that, what's like the basics when it comes down to starting? Like, what do you do first? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into details and break down everything from the basics. I'm not going to go into any scientific, technical wordplay or any of that or I'm not gonna actually show like any hardcore like calculus or math or any of that. But I'm just jumping to just some basics, man. Just some simple stuff to actually show you pretty much like the whole basics of the actual light. What makes it turn on? What makes it turn off? What's the power on? What's the ground? Let's just get into the basics. All right, so taking a step forward, right? So we're gonna jump into our negative end. They have a lot of negative charges and what they wanna do, they wanna get to that ground so bad because they want to become equal they want to become balanced they want to be at equilibrium because right now they're at a negative charge and these negative charges is going to do whatever it takes to get to that ground so that way they, they could be equal they could be balanced and if this example don't make any sense think about when it's actually thundering outside pretty much the lightning goes straight to the ground it don't go anywhere else and anything in its path pretty much end up getting destroyed all right, y'all, so let's jump into my physical visual demonstration, right? So I pretty much coded my Arduino, my microcontroller to basically act as if it was a battery, right? So basically, as you guys can see, you see you have the positive end, negative end. So this is the exact same thing right here. The only reason I'm not using this battery is because it'll end up burning out this LED, this light, it'll burn it out. But I pretty much coded it to pretty much act just like a battery. So what's gonna happen is electricity is gonna flow out of here, go all the way through this blue wire, then it's gonna stay along this line right here. Like I say in all of my videos, as far as like the breadboard, each individual like row is pretty much connected. So this row right here is connected and this one is connected. They're not together. These are connected, these are connected. So once they go all the way over and then touch this one, it, the electricity will go up, go down, and then go to the ground you get me so just look at it like this electricity always wants to go to the ground because electricity in general is negative and it wants to go to the ground that's the whole purpose of it every single time something is turned on or turned off typically electricity just want to go from here to here and we just put stuff in between it to have it do whatever we want it to do and then let it go to the ground. So literally, this is a light here for the example, right? But I mean, if you really wanna look even more deeper into it, this is also your TV, this is also your phone, this is also your lamp, this is also your Xbox, your PlayStation. We basically just say, okay, electricity, if you wanna get to the ground, you're gonna have to do everything that we tell you to do, and then we are gonna let you go to the ground. And this is pretty much the same concept on a smaller scale, you know what I mean? So basically the negative charges, and what I mean by charges, that's another thing I want to throw out there as a disclaimer. It doesn't necessarily flow out like a water hose. It's negative charges that go by one by one and actually goes through everything and then go into the ground. So it's not necessarily flowing. And I'm gonna show you guys an even better example just to really get my point across on top of that. Matter of fact, let's get into it right now. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. And yeah, pretty much, let's say that you don't let it go to the ground, right? If you don't have the ground, you get no love. It's just crazy though, like if you don't get the ground, 
is not even going to leave this point at all. All right, so jumping into my cartoon example, right? I'm gonna pretty much show you guys, prove to you guys a cartoon version of me doing the exact same thing like I just showed you guys with my other example. I'm gonna show you guys a cartoon version of it, right? Just go ahead and just show you guys. Same thing, connecting my wires to my negative part of the battery. Let me actually give the battery some juice so you know it can get like a bright light when I actually create a light bulb and make it turn on. All right, so boom, wire right there. Connect one right here. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm gonna connect my light bulb. As you guys can see these like actual blue circles, those are my negative charges that I was talking about. That's gonna come from this point and start flowing like I just mentioned. Boom, connect it, presto. And as you guys can see, it's flowing this way and it's not flowing as if it was a water hose like i just mentioned i was just explaining it i was like no like more so one by one each charge will go through it so that's why it's not always continuously turned on nothing is ever continuously turned on your tv your switch your xbox your playstation your cell phone none of that is never continuously turned on it's just those charges are just going through the device so quick to the point that our eyes cannot keep up with it. But it's basically flickering on and off extremely fast. It may not turn completely off, but it probably gets to the point to where it's turned on, it's turning off, it's turning off, and then boom, another charge just swoops in and just keep the process going. So lastly, we have our physical light bulb where I pretty much just show you guys. I just look real close. You can see that it looks like it's blinking. In reality, the charges is just going through the light to get to the ground. And this is slowed down 40 times, but it just goes to show you that even in this demonstration, it pretty much proves that nothing is always continuously just turned on. Close this video. Don't forget to comment.